Hi and welcome to a new video. Is your iPhone's lock screen display frozen to the point where you can access quick features or worse, unable to unlock your device? In this video, I will show you solutions to get your iPhone out of this state. Let's go. Whenever your device freezes and becomes unresponsive, the most practical fix is to force restart it. This approach is very simple, but it frequently fixes any minor software glitches on your iPhone. For iPhone 8 or newer models, quickly press and release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then press and hold the side button and release it when the Apple logo appears. If you're using an older iPhone model, you can refer at the tag in the top right corner or find the link to the Apple support page in the description below to know how to force restart your device properly. When force restarting your device doesn't work, the next thing you can do is to connect your iPhone to a computer and choose between updating or restoring it. Since restoring your iPhone will erase all your data, it is better to update it first to see if it will resolve the problem already. This is because there is a possibility that the touchscreen problem may just be caused by some outdated functions. If this is the case, updating the device should easily resolve the problem. To update your iPhone, plug it into your computer and make sure that you are using an original or an MFI certified cable to prevent any problems with the transfer of data. Then launch either iTunes or Finder on your computer. If you're on Windows or your Mac is running on Mac OS Mojave or earlier, you can use iTunes. But if you're on Mac OS Catalina or later, you can simply use the Finder app. After launching the app, click on your iPhone in the sidebar and make sure that you're on the General tab. Then click Check for Update. Since I already have the latest iOS version installed on my iPhone, it shows no available updates. But if your iTunes or Finder shows an available update, just follow the on-screen instructions to start the upgrade process. If your device has been updated successfully but the touch screen is still unresponsive, then you might want to resort to restoring your iPhone. Keep in mind that restoring your device also means deleting all your data. Now, click on the Restore iPhone button and follow the on-screen instructions to continue. The process may take a few minutes, so wait for a while until your iPhone restarts. Afterwards, check if your touch screen is now working properly. Another option for resolving this problem is to install a repair tool on your computer. For this, I recommend Tenorshare Reboot which addresses nearly all software issues on your iPhone. This method is quite practical because it will also immediately update your iPhone to the most recent iOS version in addition to fixing any software glitches. Aside from that, it also works both on Mac and Windows PC. However, please note that most of its features require a paid subscription. If you want to try and test it out, you can download the software by clicking on the tag at the top right corner or find the link in the description below. Upon installation, launch Reboot on your computer and click the Start button. Next, click on Standard Repair. The program will then automatically provide the latest firmware that is compatible with your device. After that, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the repair process. When the repair is finished, your iPhone will automatically reboot and the problem should now be resolved. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.